In this example, we need to find the magnitude of this force F applied to this object and the work done by this force. When we push the object with this force F, uh, we pushed it at certain distance D. This distance D is 6 meters. This is 6 meters. And it moved a distance at the height H, 4 meters. We need to find the force needed at this location. When the object is at 6 meter distance and at the height 4 meters. Then once we find this force F, we need to find how much work done by this force. The definition of work done by any constant force, by definition, is the force scalar displacement, which is the force magnitude times the distance traveled times cosine of alpha. Alpha is the angle between the direction of the force and the direction of displacement. First, we need to find the direction of displacement. You look where the object is moving and make the arrow where it is moving. This is your displacement. Then you look to your force where it is going, the direction of your force. In this case, we see F and D are in the same direction, parallel to each other, means alpha in this case is zero. Okay, so if alpha is 0, cosine of alpha is 1, and then the work will be just F times D. Because cosine of alpha is 1, F times D times 1 is just F times D. To find this F, we, are, we need the free body diagram. means we need to see what push and what pulls on this object M. So you circle the object and look what pulls and what push on it. So take this vector. Now we have this force F. We have Mg by definition is perpendicular to the ground. And we have normal force, which is the force from the surface on the object and is perpendicular to the surface where the object is located. So we have three forces, F, N, and Mg. We go here. So this is uh, how we see them. In this case, in order to see clearly uh, these uh, forces, we use our reference x-axis, which is the, x, the direction of motion of the object, and y-axis is perpendicular to x, in this case, you will pass in by normal force, and then uh, we shrink the object. Once we shrink the object, we will have this. Now, when we shrink the object, we will see it clearly the direction of forces. F will be on x-axis, normal force will be on y-axis, and mg it will be between x and y-axis. So we need to split this mg to, M to coordinate by a projection of mg on x-axis, it will be mgx, and mg on y-axis, it will be mgy. We need to find this mgx and mgy, what they are. If I take a triangle, that is, if I call this a, b, and c, this triangle that is made of a, b, c, we know Mg is perpendicular to the ground. This is 90 degrees. This is theta. And this is an, uh, another angle. Now let's give an example for theta and see what it is. Let's say if theta is 20 degrees, what would be this angle? Because I know in a triangle, we have 180 degrees. We have 90 plus 20. This angle should be 70 degrees. 70 degrees if theta is 20 plus 70 is 90 plus 90 is 180. This is 70 degrees. This angle has to be 20 degrees. Why? Because x and y are perpendicular. To get to 90, this angle has to be 20.
Now, in general, when this, if this angle is theta, this angle will be theta also. So, if this angle theta and we have this y-axis is parallel to this dashed line, if this is theta, this also, let me clean this, is also theta. Okay, so what will be MGX? MGX it will be just the hypotenuse, which is Mg sine of theta. You said MGX, which is the opposite, equals to the sine of the opposite angle, which is theta, sine of theta, times Mg. So let me put it in front. It will be Mg sine of theta. Theta. Now the same thing for MGY. MGY is the adjacent to theta. It will be just the hypotenuse MG cosine of theta. Okay. Now we are going to use the Newton's law to solve this problem. The Newton's law says sigma f equals to the mass times acceleration. We know the object is moving upward with constant speed, so the acceleration in this case equals to zero. And we have sigma f will have coordinate, which are sigma f x, this is the sum of the forces on x, equals to zero, and sigma f on y equals to zero. Now we have sigma f on x axis are the force f. Remember this is x positive, which is the direction of motion. And downward is x negative. The same thing, upward is y positive and downward is y negative. So f is e to be positive. Mgx will be what is negative. And sigma Fy equals to the normal force upward is positive, minus MGY equals to zero. What does mean from the first equation, F minus MG, MGX equals zero. Let me put it there. This is, this is what we said. Sigma F equals the mass times acceleration. We say the acceleration is zero, ma means zero, sigma f will be zero, which would that, that mean sigma fx equals to zero and sigma fy equals to zero. We said sigma fx is f minus mgx, f equals to mgx. And we just said mgx is mg sine of theta. The same thing, sigma fy equals zero. And sigma Fy is normal force minus MGY. Fn equals to MGY. And MGY, we say this just Mg cosine theta. Now we need to find the sine of theta. We have object moves a distance D. This distance, we said, is 6 meters. And it will be at certain elevation, H, 4 meters. Now, what would be the sine of theta? Now, what they have this triangle, they're made of H and D and theta. What do we have here? Sine of theta it will be H over D. We said F is Mg sine of theta, which is Mg times H over D. So, this is the force F. We said M 16 kilograms. The acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And the height is 4 meters divided by 6 meters. So if we do the math, the force F, it would be 104 or 5 newtons. So how we can find the work? We said the definition of work. 
is the force times the displacement. Like I said, we know the direction of displacement, we just explained it, is the direction of motion of the object on the surface. You need to make sure you place the arrow where it's going. The force is in the same direction as displacement and parallel, means we said uh, alpha. Remember this, what it was. The work is the force times displacement or the force times distance times cosine of alpha. We said alpha is the angle between the force and direction of the displacement. The direction of the force and displacement are the same, and uh, the angle will be 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. We said is, it will be just f times d. And f, we said, is 1 or 4 times the distance, which is 6 meters, the work will be 627.2, this is 2, newtons, meters, or joules, it will be 627.2 joules, remember, 1 newton times meter is 1 joule, thank you.